yani in happening in the Muslim Muslim community, some things that are shocking, honestly. There is a mother and a son, mother and a son, subhanAllah. You know what Islam says about Birul Walidain. They are taking each other to court over a few thousand pounds, over a few hundred pounds. Issue. This is happening in the Muslim community. And they are spending thousands of pounds in legal fees for this. Subhanallah. There are Muslims fighting each other, neighbors fighting each other, because one Muslim neighbor took 10 centimeters off the land. Subhanallah. Where's the tasawah? And where's this, this, these things the Prophet ﷺ told us about love and mahabba between the Muslims? It's not really, it's lacking a lot. It's lacking a lot. And there's many, many yani crazy, crazy stories of Muslim brothers, sisters fighting. Muslim uh, families being torn apart. The, the mother is not letting the, the father see the children. Subhanallah. This is how we're treating the Muslims and we want Allah to forgive us and overlook everything. Wallahi, the way Allah will treat you is the way you treat others. This is the, this is the fact. Ar-Rahimun man Allah. Those people who act, who treat others with mercy, Allah will have mercy on them. Allah will have mercy on them. Whoever is in the service of his brother, the need of his brother, Allah will be in his service. So imagine if someone is acting rude against the Muslims or making them angry, making them upset. SubhanAllah. This is something we need to avoid. This is something we really need to think about. Everybody is interested in aqidah, everybody is interested in other things and there is no love between the Muslims. Yani this is very important. If you are a real Muslim, if you really know what Islam is, you will love anyone who is a Muslim. According to their Iman, of course. According to their Iman. But there will be this love there. Maybe you have, might have had a problem with someone who was not a Muslim. Maybe you had a problem and you didn't speak to him. And then maybe a year later you found out he's Muslim. How would you feel? You will feel so happy. You will say, I don't care about that problem anymore. He's Muslim. This is it. But the problem is, yeah, you might say, why are we acting so rude? Why are we acting so rude? Why don't we have this mahabba? Wallahi, it's simply because of dunya. The problem is because of dunya. We don't really care about Allah in Akhirah. We don't care about what we're going to meet as soon as we die. So this is why we have these problems. If our hearts were attached to Allah in Akhirah, then it would be easy for us to overlook. Easy. لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنًا Allah said in the Quran, there is a good example in you, in the Messenger of Allah. You know how much the people harmed the Messenger of Allah and all he used to do is turn, look at them and smile. Even the hypocrites, SubhanAllah, even the biggest hypocrites, they used to give him so much other, so much problems, and he used to keep on making sure with them, even let them come out in the Ghazawat. Keep on smiling at them, so much so that Abdullah ibn Salul, when he passed away, the head hypocrite, he even clothed him, that he, for his, his kafan, gave him one of his shirts, the Prophet ﷺ, and to bury him. And Omar didn't like that, he said, why are you praying for them? The Prophet ﷺ said, I will still make this thing far. This is just the nature of the Prophet ﷺ. He was very... He was very merciful and he was very concerned about anyone doing anything wrong. He had nasiha. He didn't mock people. There's a big difference, brothers, between looking down at other people and mocking them and wanting nasiha because you feel mercy. You feel like you want to save this person from dalala. There's a big difference. So Allah said in the ayah, لَكَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْبَةٌ حَسَنًا For who? There is a good example in you, in the Messenger of Allah. For who? Human can you Yarju Allah wal Yawm al Akhir. For the one who wants to, is hoping to meet Allah in a good state and he's hoping for Dar al Akhirah. These two things. If you don't have these two things in your heart, you won't overlook the faults of your Muslims, of your Muslim brothers. You won't have love Allah, for your Muslim brothers. Because we are so much attached to dunya, this is the problem. The Prophet ﷺ, it was easy for him to overlook. Abu Bakr, easy for them to overlook and keep on smiling and get on with everyone so nicely. Why? Because they are not interested in what happens in dunya. They only want Allah Azza wa Jalla and Akhirah anyway. So what's the, what's the point in causing problems now? Just overlook the problems, overlook the mistakes of the Muslims. We'll end with this hadith, amazing hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, when he said, should I not inform you? To those people, 
Majlis and Yom Al-Qiyamah, should I not inform you, with those people who will be nearest to me on the Day of Judgment. Nearest to me. بِأَقْرَبِكُمْ مِنِّي يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ What did the Prophet ﷺ say? أَحْسَنُكُمْ أَخْلَاقًا Those of you with the best character. Not just finished yet. أَلْمُوَطَّعُونَ أَكْنَافًا SubhanAllah, this is a very strange term. أَلْمُوَطَّعُونَ أَكْنَافًا It means, literally, those people whose shoulders they get trod over. Their shoulders they get trod over. Meaning they're so soft. If another Muslim brother is pressing his right and another Muslim sister is pressing her right, he'll just bend out of the way. He'll give it to them. He won't cause problems. Al Muwatta'una Aknafa, soft very soft shoulders. Alladina Ya'lafuna wa yu'lafun. Those people who get on with others and others get on with them. They have soft characters. This is what the Prophet said about these type of people, and this is something we need to think about. Because really we are in a crisis to do with this issue. And it's not, just don't think it's just a small issue. This is from the fundamentals of Iman. <coughs> Loving between Muslims and love for Islam. So we ask Allah Zawajal for tawfiq. Allahumma fitna mimma tuhib wa tarda. Allahumma habib ilayna al-Iman wa zayyimu fi qulubina. Wa karrih ilayna al-kufra wa al-fusuka wa al-isyan. Wa jalna minna al-rashidin. ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتوب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم أقيم الصلاة